Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to Angular. In this video, we'll be talking about component communications between two child components, or sibling components, or neighboring components, however you want to call it. Here is a diagram to show you two different ways of how uh, child components can communicate, either through a mediator or through DI or the dependency injection. In this video, we'll be just talking about the parent component using the as a mediator. So the two child components down here can communicate through these two um, decorators, the input and output. So output sending data out from the child to the parent, and the input sending data from the parent down to the child. So that's how it's done. Here's another diagram to show you the three different components in their own uh, way of, uh, in their own code. So we'll start down here from child B, for example. We have an event on the template here. When you click that update button, it's gonna call a function inside the B component source. And here we'll emit some data, in this case some points, to a um, uh, event emitter object called child B points that is sent as an output to the parent tag, I mean parent component in the template here. So it binds this object or this emitter uh, property as an event. Notice you use the parentheses instead of the uh, square brackets. So if parentheses are used for events just like how you see a click event down here, right? And then we pass the data from this event to, as an event object to this handler. And this handler we create inside the uh, source in the parent component that will allow us to extract the data through its, its input. And then we update the inputs here, the points, and then that points will, be all, will also be sent back out to another tag here to the child tag. Uh, we bind that points to a property, right, a property in the child component called child A points, and then that is in the source of the child A component we have as an input of child A points, and then that then is then being used or being displayed on the on its template on the browser, so you can see that data reflected here. So that's how it works. Let's go and see how this is done in Angular. Okay, so this is the app that we have been working on. If you missed the first two videos about how these communications work, you want to watch those first so you can see how data were sent from the parent down to the child and then how a message can be sent from the child B down, I mean, up to the parent component. So since we already have that set up, then our task here is basically to relay this message from B down to A. And it's the same process of you know, passing data from here down to the A, it's the same thing. So let's go see how this is done in the code. So here is the code. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now yet. In my app, I'm gonna open the, um, I don't need all these here. I need the app component for the parent. It's a HTML template here. So um, that's what we set up for before. We pass the data from the uh, parent. <clears throat> so these points, is being passed to the A component here, right? We bind that points to a property in the A component, and the A component in the source, we bind that here through the input operator or decorator, and then this child A points here is then being displayed on its browser or its uh, view here on the view here, okay? And then for the B component, we start off from the view and B components as either a button or we change that to use a um, key up event for every key stroke that we send every single character instantly to um, a child B message. We do a data bind here using the banana operator, I guess, or we use the two-way data binding in a text area. We bind that to um, this property, also this function here. And so in the, a, in the B component file, the message is this one here. As soon as we type something, this function is fired, and then the uh, uh, operator here, which is this emit event emitter uh, object, will emit this message to the parent through this operator or this object. And, and the parent component, if you remember, uh, seeing it up here in the child B, we emit that through this event. Right? Again, the parentheses versus the square brackets. Okay, events are always in parentheses as in as a click here. And then we pass the data to uh, the event object here, uh, property here, and a event handler we call receive from B. 
this is inside the app component and which we saw earlier here inside this function and then we see the message we retrieve that and then we display that message to the view so now all we have to do is we send this message relates message to the child component let me just close this tag over here on the left side to give some space so let's go to the parent component up here we'll do the same thing as we pass down the points right just exactly the same idea so you can just do over here say um, we're going to pass this message so I'll just call it the same uh, name so child be a message inside the inside the a component you must have that inside a component um, equal the child be message from the parent component okay so let's save that so let's go to the a component here we need to have another input here so I'm just going to duplicate this and we'll call this child be a message and the type will be of type string okay and then this child be message then needs oops needs to be display let me save this and the a component html so we'll put it right below here and we use a, just a paragraph tag um, we'll put here um, the child b message uh, something is not clicking here okay um, all right, so let's save that and then let's go to the browser and see if that is working. So here we go. Let me clear this console here. And um, I probably didn't run this yet. Yeah, I didn't run it. Let's go run it first. Let's go to a terminal and uh, somehow it was canceled. What did okay? Well, let's let's do ng surf. Well, that's running. We can see if there's any errors. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go back to the view. And okay, so there it is. Now you can see that A already received the same message that was received from the parent, which is waiting. And as soon as I type something here, you can see that it um, sends a message instantly to the parent component and that has been relayed back down to the child component here. Okay, so that's how it's done, really. Now, notice that in the code, we did two things. Let me close this now. I mean, we not two things, but I passed down two um, different properties. This is fine. You can do it this way. You're passing uh, each data in, uh, by their own like that. So when you're doing this way, you're just passing, you know, primitive data type. They are passing the values only. Another way you can do is you can pass through an object instead of doing this way. So let me refactor this and pass through an object instead. What I mean is like in the um, add component here, instead of having two messages separate this way, you can change that into an object. So let's say I'm going to call it uh, data is going to be an object. I'm going to wrap these two here as an object. And we'll convert this to objects with that colon, put that as a comma, colon, comma like that and just right click format that and uh, I didn't I probably something's wrong here didn't let me format um, but you can do so that it's now um, an object instead of the um, regular uh, primitive primitive data type so when you do that then down here you have to say uh, when I when I be update the points here this would say data dot parent Okay, for that, and so that's fine here. Here will be uh, data that b message. Okay, make sure you update that, and then let's go to the component here as well. Instead of um, well, down here will be also data that child b message, and so instead of having both of these, we're just gonna remove both of them, and I'll just replace one of these here. We we'll just call it uh, data in the child class also data here in the parent class so i'm passing the actual reference of this object down instead of just one single um, data so we save this in the child a component ts file now the data coming in is not going to be both of these anymore let me just turn both of these off here and we'll create another one um, input we'll call data as well of type any from the parent okay 
and then down here we just have replaced this with data dot something something right so this data dot is no longer child a point it's called parent points now because we rename we're passing the actual data from the parent okay so here as well this would be data dot parent points and then one more here okay so that's been updated and then we need to do one more thing in the uh, component here so this would be again data dot parent points and then here would be data dot child b points so we're passing one object instead of two uh, different uh, properties here so let's save this and let's go to the code and see if this still works as you can see it still works just fine let's refresh it okay so that's still working fine and if i put here hello there so there we go and so this is how you can communicate between two uh, child components through a mediator as the parent use the parent as a mediator and other option is again the to use DI, but we'll do that in a separate video. So I hope this is helpful. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you.